Hello, hockey and basketball fans. My name is David. I thought I would uh, start this video at 1.13 on the afternoon of Sunday, 21st of May, 2023, North American Easter Time. That I would do is, well, just going to be watching a game pretty soon between the French and American adult men's teams. Well, France, the implications are pretty clear. It's in order of a chance to continue to um, uh, remain in the quarterfinal hunt. Hunt for a quarterfinal qualification spot. It's a must win. I don't like France's chances, but hey. <laughs> At least it's not. As the French would put it, set homage just yet. So, also, when it comes to uh, IHF news, Joe Leno, a center for the Detroit Red Wings of the National Hockey League, has received a suspension of this many games with respect to tournaments administered by the uh, uh, Swiss base uh, um, ice hockey regulatory body. Will that carry over to NHL games? Nope. Only to those tournaments administered by the IHF. Uh, but whether the suspension carries over to the next tournament in which Valeno participates due to a, you know, after a skate stomp on Nino on the Jets, Nino Niederreiter of the Swiss adult men's team, or it will end this tournament. Well, that depends on what Canada does in the quarterfinal. In its quarterfinal, doesn't matter because Leno is out of this tournament. I'm not sure if he's on a plane home, but as a bare minimum, hopefully he'll be sitting in the press box. Well, what a way to end a tournament, and not in a good one. Will he even be selected by Hockey Canada for future tournaments? Who knows? Well, in any case, the uh, the team for which Leno played ended up losing a close one in regulation. One of the goals I've been scoring a power play that probably shouldn't have been <laughs> a power play. Should have been like a 4-4 at least, but, you know, the refs made the call. There was like a blown call. Should have been made, but the IHF didn't muck around. And you know, for me, it's, you know, Leno deserved at least two games. Sent a message to him, which is not acceptable, but he's he's gone for the tournament, at least. Get to sit in the press box. And let's we'll see what Hockey Canada decides to do for future tournaments. That is, adult men's world team, adult men's team gets to play. So back to... to but certainly, uh, Andre Tourney, head coach of... Canada's adult men's team will have one less player to select, but again, it's not Tourney's call, it was the IHF one. Hopefully, hopefully Canada will, you know, get things up and get used to life without Valeno in the lineup, because that's what it'll have to do. Hopefully, you can, you know, win one for Tourney, who's NHL, the NHL team of which he is head coach, the Arizona Coyotes <laughs> has an uncertain future in its current state. Well, Arizona, well, the Tempe Arena deal went down. <laughs> Needed a vote, and a vote had to pass. There were three propositions, all of which <laughs> failed. Did that kill any, you know, the NHL in Arizona? Well, maybe one day that uh, NHL team does come to Arizona if the Coyotes have to fly out or run out <laughs> whatever you like to call it but the Coyotes are in a mess and yes they have loads of draft picks going to this year's entry draft but uh, this team is well the team did better I mean it did manage to win at home you know had a winning record at home in terms of you know more than half a point per game it's, you know, in Mold Arena, rather small one, 5,000 seats. So as far as I'm concerned, we'll see what happens. But there's no doubt that these Coyotes don't have a, don't have a home beyond the 2024-25 season. Indeed, they were locked out almost of Gila River Arena um, after having gone behind on paying bills. Now they are, you know, they are behind on, 
well they're behind on paying their bills but well they were and they did pay him up but that was enough to save them there it's just been you know multiple owner ownership groups and just generally speaking bad month management and the Coyotes are where they are. Very interesting video by the Odd Man Rush YouTube man um, narr you know, that he narrated and produced in April last year. Titled, well, quote, The Coyotes Cap Dump Club, unquote. Very interesting video, well worth watching. To really get some context of one, just where, of why the Coyotes have been not very successful on the ice in terms of you know, playoff success or even financially including struggles to reach the salary floor in some seasons yeah salary floor I mean pretty much any other NHL team but you know and you know hasn't had that issue but Coyotes with their Hemorrhaging money is, well, <laughs> no, that has had lots of issues. Well, let's see what happens. It'll be kind of sad of hockey if the, if the Coyotes leave Arizona, but if that's what has to happen, so be it. I hope Commissioner NHL Commissioner Batman and executives at HQ in Manhattan are prepared for the possibility, real possibility at this point, that the Coyotes will have to leave the state. We'll have to leave Arizona because yes hockey in the desert you know like who doesn't want hockey in the desert I mean I mean yes you could say oh yeah there's no NHL team in New Mexico probably never will be but again it's still it'll be kind of sad because I mean a lot of people lose their job but again the problem is this coyote squad is going nowhere <laughs> Of course, we'll see what happens. And yes, the Leafs. The offseason continues, and the search for a GM, for a new GM continues. And well, what can you do? It's it is what it is. Hopefully, the Leafs will have a better. We'll get to a conference final next season, but it's hard to know. If not the Leafs, then maybe at least one of the Canucks, Oilers, Flames, Jets. And Sens will get to a conference final instead if Leafs don't manage to. Let's see, though, because another season, no Canadian team even you know, getting, to, you know, getting to win a Stanley Cup. In terms of what Canadian team, what NHL team I hope will win a Stanley Cup, well, hopefully one that has yet to win, that didn't win a Stanley Cup in any prior season. So far, Panthers look good. They're up two games to down in their series. The Golden Knights won their first, the first game of their Western Final. So let's see what happens. And anyway, on that on that note, I'm gonna say, go Canada, go and go Leafs, go.